Hey everyone, Raider here. Hope you're all doing great and having a fantastic day. So in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at one of the options that you can find in the developer options menu on your Samsung Galaxy device. And what we're going to talk about today actually works on all Android devices. And what we're going to talk about is a setting called minimum width. So minimum width allows us to adjust how much content we get on the screen at the same time. We're able to enlarge everything and get less content, but have it be bigger and we're able to shrink everything down substantially to get a lot more content on the screen and everything will be much smaller. This is a little bit different than your scaling settings. We're gonna see how they interact together. And this is a great tip for those of you that might be like myself. I'm visually impaired, I have terrible eyesight. So having the text and all my screen elements a little bit bigger is a little bit helpful. And it's also beneficial to those of you that have exceptional eyesight and you're able to see very small, fine detailed text in icons and things of that nature you can get a lot more on your screen, all with the minimum width setting. So let's go ahead and take a look at this and see where you can find it on your device. Swipe down, go into settings. All right, then we're gonna scroll down till we get to about phone. You're gonna click on software information. You're gonna click on build number repeatedly and it's gonna ask you for your pin. I'm gonna enter that off to the side. All right, now that I've done that, we have a new option called developer options here. Go ahead and click on that. And the minimum width setting is quite a ways down. So this first time I'll scroll down with you guys. And then what I'll do is I'll probably edit it out for the remainder of the times, but it's going to be down here by our windows animation. And here we have it minimum width. And if you look at this real close right now, it's set to 805 DP, which is dots per inch. So what this relates to is another regular display setting that we have on our Samsung devices. Let me show you that real quick. That relates to this here. If we go up here and go to display, and we scroll down here until we get to screen layout and zoom. You'll see that we have this screen zoom option. We can be zoomed out like I have it now, and we can also zoom in. And it's kind of all or nothing. You can zoom in once, and you can zoom out once. And the interesting thing is, is as we zoom in here, we've now changed a setting. This has a direct impact on the minimum width setting. Let's go back to that and take a look at it. Let's see what it does. Now remember, we zoomed in here, so the text and everything is bigger which means the minimum width is now gonna get smaller. Let me show that to you real quick. All right, there's our minimum width, and you see now that it went down to 690 DPI because now we're getting 690 dots per inch as opposed to the 805 as before. And what that means is, is that the images, icons, and text on your screen are gonna get expanded out a little bit, right? Because there's less dots per inch that are being used by that icon, by that text, by whatever it is you're showing on the screen. So as this minimum width number gets smaller, the text and items on your display get bigger, but you see less of them. And as we raise this number up, the text and the icons on your display get much smaller, but you're able to get a lot more content on your screen at the same time. And this also holds true for multitasking. So this minimum width affects both single application use and multitasking. It doesn't matter, it affects everything on your screen. So let's go ahead and play around with this a little bit to see it in action. So right now we're at this 690 setting. Let's go ahead and make this really low to see what that looks like on our screen. 690, let's go ahead and try 480. All right, let's click OK. Now look what happened. We have ginormous text on our screen, which is great for me personally from a mile away, but not very useful. We also notice that the settings display has changed now. It's no longer a multi-pane window. It's now a single set of options you know, kind of like the old school look or like how it looks on an S22 Ultra or a regular non-folding device. And the reason is, is because One UI has noticed that for the dots per inch that we picked, it's no longer able to correctly fit everything on the screen at the same time. So it's only giving you the one side of the options. But this is very beneficial to those of you that have terrible eyesight like myself. Look how readable this is. And it's really cool that we can fine tune this minimum width to really get it to how we like it to be. So let's go on the other side of the fence here. All right, there's our minimum width setting. So if you remember at the start of the video, we showed that when it was zoomed out, the regular view that I had at the start of the video, we were at 805. So let's go ahead and set this to something pretty extreme. Let's set this to 950. So we're gonna add 150 DPI, so 150 more dots per inch inside the same space. Click OK. Look at all that now. The text shrink down significantly. 
you'll now see that almost all of this fits on one line here. So this is great when you're multitasking and you have two apps open, you can get a lot more text on it. So the minimum width allows you to basically fine tune that scaling option that we saw up here in the display settings. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this back real quick. All right, so I went ahead and set it back to the default 805, at least the default for me. Again, as you change your text size and you adjust that zoom layout, you know, the screen zoom that we saw in the display settings, that will automatically impact this minimum width value. So do keep that in mind if you notice that your minimum width isn't the same on mine. This is on a per device basis based on your settings. So a couple things to keep in mind. Um, first things first is I wouldn't go more than say a couple hundred one direction and a couple hundred the other. And the reason being is if you go too extreme, let's say I set that minimum width to be something like 1500 or 2000, some ridiculously high number, what'll happen is your device will start to flash and what you're gonna to have to do is power cycle it in order to get it to come back. It'll just sit there and keep flashing. Another thing to keep in mind as well is that if you're in multitasking mode and you have two applications open and you go back here into settings, let's say settings is on one side and you have YouTube on the other, minimum width is gonna show you the value for one half of your screen. So right now we're at 805 and if I were to do multitasking, it would show a value of around 400. Now, if you're multitasking and you go to adjust your minimum width, I recommend you close one application and go back to a regular view and just adjust the minimum width for the whole device because I've noticed if you do the adjustment while you're in the middle of multitasking, sometimes since it's split right down the middle, you might put a value and it's gonna be like half a point either way, right? Cut right down the middle. So it has a hard time interpreting that and what'll happen is, is you'll get a little tiny blue line at the top and it'll have a little bit of like red smearing. It looks really weird, it looks totally goofy. So if you ever do see that, go up here at this top menu and you're just gonna turn developer options on and off. That's all you have to do. Turn it off, turn it back on, and that will go away. So a couple things to keep in mind, but do, do keep this setting in mind. This is really powerful stuff. I mean, if you think about it, you have your zoom option in your display settings, but now you have a fine tune adjustment, right? So you can go a little bit over the edge this way, a little bit over the edge that way, and you can get it anywhere you want in the middle, which is an awesome feature. You can do this on all your Android type devices, all these Samsung devices. And I think it's a great way for you to get more content on your screen or to enlarge it further from what your default options are for those of us that have terrible eyesight. Uh, if y'all have any questions about this, please let me know down in the comments, happy to address them. It's a cool little setting and we'll touch on more of these developer options in the coming months as well, because there's a lot of cool stuff in here. But I wanted to cover this one real quick because I think it's very helpful. Um, and it's really nice to just fine tune it and get it just how you want for your particular eyesight and what you're able to work with. As always, thanks for watching.